Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be using some Mono Blanco render. This is by Pyrex and this is like a scrape finish, much like K-Rend. So today's the first time I've used it, so we're going to start off with doing the preparation. So I'm going to chuck all the beads on. So I'm just setting the beads up at the moment. If you can just see down here, I've had to channel this one in here, that little thing there. Bedded all the beads on. I've had to do a bit of higgery jiggery around here, just to make sure that it'll all work. So the tip I'll always say is to put some grip fix or mega grip or anything like that. But basically you don't want to be using nails when you're putting plastic beads up. What tends to happen is, is the bead just tends to warp as you're doing it. Just make sure your level's on it, they're nice and level. And yeah, that's the tip for doing them. I'm gonna be back a couple of days to do this. Right guys, I'm using the Mono Blanco today. Uh, I've got my bags there ready. I've got five bags, which should just be enough. I've got my sheets ready for collecting anything that I drop. So it's all beaded up. I'm going to be putting on probably around 12 mil to start off with. Then I will use my serrated edge. So this is my serrated edge for getting it all level and to giving it a bit of a scratch. This is my eye bar, hence the eye. So that's for scraping later on. So I'm starting this job a bit earlier today. Got all my stuff ready. I'm just about to chuck all this on. I've got my uh, buckets ready for mixing. I'm going to be mixing this with a hand drill. I'm going to be using my Makita one. There's a link up here if you want to find out a bit more about that drill. It's going to be scraped back and brushed. Um, as I said, I'm starting this one earlier because this one says you have about from about 3 to 16 hours working time. With K-Rend, I normally leave it overnight and then I scrape it back. But today I'm going to be putting this on first thing and then what I'll do is I'll scrape it back when I feel it's right to do so. We're going to figure it all out together because it's my first time using the Mono Blanco. I'm going to mix it in a big yellow tub and I'll put my yellow tub inside my barrow just so that I can move it around just to make life a lot easier. Also when mixing you're going to need to use this mask here. I've been using it for a while now. An important thing when mixing any sort of colour render you want to make sure all your tools are clean. This uh, if you've got any dirt it's going to stain and having stains on a white finish you can't get it off so make sure all your tools are clean. Right guys, so I've now started putting on. So the key to putting on any sort of render is that you always start at the top and you constantly work into the stuff. And the idea is that you, you keep the consistent thickness all the way through. So you push into the stuff. With this product, just like K-Rend and the other alternatives is that it's, it's not the easiest of products to put on. If you can just see, it moves a lot when you're putting it on.
see over here, I channeled out for some um, for an electric cable the other time when I was doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of mesh all the way around that just to strengthen it up and to stop any cracking. Right guys, so I've put the first coat on, I've put the rule on it, and this is all giving it a nice key for putting on later. Um, I couldn't put the rule on the little areas, so I've got my float with some nails, my devil float, I've just put that over it. I could have just used a scratcher, but I thought the devil float worked just as well. It's a bit messy at the moment, but I am going to be putting the second coat on in a minute. So it's pulled in quite nicely there, if you can just see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this other bit of stuff up and I am going to start chucking my second coat on straight away. So this is the point now where you really need to get decent thickness on this. So as I said, this is about 12 mil now, rough estimation. You kind of know because you can't put it on much thicker than that. What tends to happen is it just starts slumping. So that's why you have to put your first coat on, level it all off and put a bit of a scratch in and then come back and put the second coat on it you're not leaving it long between it you're just waiting for it just to just to go in a bit further just so that you know you've got a bit of a key and it always happens with the first coat is that it pulls in fairly quickly Right guys, so this is now ready. I just need to give this a bit of time. I'm gonna do some tidying up. I'm gonna give it a few hours, probably maybe three, maybe four. We're gonna see how it goes. Right guys, so I tried to get on this a bit too early. As you can see, it started scraping okay at the top, at the bottom, it's still too wet and yeah, it just needs a little bit more time. This was an area I was worried about because the sun was on it quite heavy before and there's a bit of a breeze as well, so I just wanted to check. I am now just going to leave it now. Right guys, so I've started rubbing this one. It's still wet, it's about, I think it's about four o'clock now. So I'm gonna try and do a bit on the other side. It's still taking a while to go off. Right guys, a little tip for when you've got reveals and you can't get your scraper in, what I tend to use is my surf form and this is ideal for getting this, getting the texture just right there. So tip of the day, use a surf foam. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just taking my time with it. I'm just going nice and slow. Uh, I've used my eye bar on it to try and get some levels. So guys, this is the eye bar. So basically what you do is you put it on and you use it to get your level. Basically. So I'm just rubbing it really, really carefully to make sure 
that I don't dig in too much because that's the, that's the worry when um, it's a little bit wetter. You can just see, so this is not close. This is still pretty, pretty wet. You can just see at the bottom, I can still, I can actually push my finger in it. I just need to give this a bit of time before I do another scrap. <laughs> Right, so I think it's, is it quarter to six now? And it's still too wet at the bottoms. You can just see it is, it's just not, it's just a bit too wet. It's still leaving the ring marks because it's too wet to, uh, to rub. So I'm gonna have to leave this a bit longer. Most of this is done now. Um, looks pretty good. I'm gonna have a little check over this one. But yeah, it's taken a bit of a while. So I think maybe next time I'd leave it overnight, but uh, it is what it is. Right guys, so this one's now done. I, um, I hope you've learned something from this. For me, what I've learned is that I would have preferred to have left this overnight. Um, I think it needed longer. So it's now uh, almost half six now, and I was here from half eight, because um, I, I got quite a big distance to travel to just to get here. Um, but I think I should have put it on last thing at night and came back the next day because I think it would have been better to have left this overnight. But it did turn out all right in the end. Right guys, so that is the end of the job. Uh, my conclusions from this product is that it is just like K-Rend. Um, there's no real difference. Um, it's done exactly the same way. Right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like them, please like and subscribe. I drop videos every Tuesday. Uh, I've got an Instagram page, TikTok, all that jazz, Facebook. There's also the thanks below if you found any of this useful. Right guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.